really, really good competitive fight from Antonio Moran and Jeffrey Torres. Um, I, I thought that this fight, this is actually the best fight so far of this card. And yeah, I, I, I think that it was good. Um, Moran was throwing some really nice combinations, but Torres was throwing some bricks at the face. And I think the, the only thing about Torres is that he would throw a punch and sort of look at his handiwork. You understand what I'm saying? It's like he would throw a punch and be like, oh man, that dude, he should be down from something like that. Dude, you can't, you can't do that. You got it. When you throw, when you throw something, you got to follow it up with something, you know? And that was the thing that, that Jeffrey Torres just really didn't do. Moran was a true veteran in there tonight. Um, and so this was the last chance series that they got. It's like a last chance tournament. I think it's good. When you got folks that, that really are trying to make a name for themselves, have had a few losses, but they still want to be in the sport of boxing and they really want to have a, a opportunity to, to get a big name down the road, I think these tournaments are, are necessary and they're needed. So um, good on, on Pro Box TV for putting together something like this for fighters that don't have um, a perfect record but are still relevant in the sport of boxing. This, this is the one thing that I do, I, I appreciate of this, is that they're not focusing on just fighters that have a zero in the loss column, you know? Um, that's something that I hate about boxing right now is that everybody just focuses on people that only that have never lost. And it's that Mayweather thing, but you can still be relevant. You can still have great fights if you, you know, if you stay conditioned and you, and you're hungry. So, um, because every single fight you get in there and you and you're putting your life on the line and in the UFC it's a little bit different like in the UFC you you people expect them to have three or four or five losses and and still are at the top of the game but in boxing i guess because there's so many boxers then they only want people that have the zero and it's just that Floyd Mayweather era type stuff so he made it popular um but hey this was a good one. This was a good one. So Moran Torres, Moran got the unanimous decision victory. So congratulations to Moran. We're in this. We're in this card. I like it. I'm starting. To, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Like I told you, the production is really good. Uh, it was a good fight. Good fight. So no hype. It was a good. It was. It was. It was good. So yeah. That being said, y'all y'all probably want to go back and watch that fight. It was. It's uh, rewatch worthy for sure. So with that being said, we're going into the next fight, and uh, we're still in that Pro Box TV card, and we are getting ready for that Ming Pascal fight at the end of the night for the, you know, premier top headline main event. With that being said, as always, peace, one love. We out of here.